All right, guys, substitution is about equality. Here we can see that B is equal to six. So anytime you see a B, you can replace it with a six. You can do that substitution there, right? Uh, we take out the B, we put in the six. The B goes completely away, and then, then we have the six. So let's practice a little bit with this idea. If we are looking at something like this, right? So maybe the question says solve for X. You know that B equals six. So we're going to find, you know, where are all of our B's. In this case, it's easy. It's just this one B. And then anytime we see that B, we're going to take out the B and put in the six. So there we go. That's called substitution, right? But what we're, like the, the act that we're doing, we're taking out the one thing, put in another thing. Notice that here we use parentheses around the six. This is going to become important in like, 20 seconds, okay? And then also in one or two questions in this worksheet, like one or two questions from now. It's gonna be really important. So make sure you use these parentheses whenever you do any substitution. It helps when you have distribution later, when you have negatives later, it helps to keep everything clear. And if you don't use parentheses, then we're just going to, you know, laugh at you and tell you to redo it. So you have to do your math in a non-ridiculous fashion, which means that substitution must have parentheses. Uh, from there, you guys know you could just combine those things and then, you know, there you go. You get solve for X, right? Uh, let's look at another example. So here, maybe this is a bit more complicated. We want to solve for X. Well, same exact thing, right? Now, you guys maybe are starting to think, well, okay, I don't know. Maybe I could like factor out a two. Maybe I could do some, some uh, additional factoring over here. I got you. I got you. Let's just practice substitution first, right? So we're going to find all of our B's, highlight them, right? So we know where all of our B's are. And then every B, we're going to substitute it with a six and we are going to use our parentheses. So there we go. Now notice it already became important, right? Because we're gonna have to do order of operations here. We have to do two, six squared and then we're gonna have to multiply that by two. If you just wrote two, six, little two, right? So two, six squared, this could look like 26 squared. It doesn't, it, it's not as clear anymore what that means. Here also, if you just wrote a six, it could look like 66. So we're just not gonna take that, we're not gonna accept that, right? You have to use parentheses when you're substituting in. From there, you know, I mean, you can see that you could do some simplification, right? So this would come into, you know, six squared, order of operations, we get 36 times two, we could simplify that further, 36 here. You guys know how to do those simplifications, right? Order of operations, good stuff. Let's do another example. Here it gets even more weird. And what are we gonna do? It's the very same process. First, we're going to find our Bs, then we're going to replace them with sixes using parentheses. Again, it is very important. Notice here, this negative is going to apply to the entire 6C, right? So sometimes negatives are gonna distribute, things like that. It's very like critical that we do this right. Um, this six, you can't just move it to the front, right? Because this six is gonna be squared. This six is gonna be cubed. All of that's useful information, so the parentheses are very critical. And also just necessary, we're just gonna make you do it, cool. Uh, from there, you guys know, okay, so you can do like six cubed and you multiply that and then, you know, you can move the six up to the front because with terms, we usually put the coefficient up front. Uh, this one just becomes six C, so that's fine. And then we got the 36, which we are going to put in front of the A once we do that squared kind of a thing. From there, you could simplify it a little bit more, but basically that's about as simple as it's going to get, right? All right, cool. Now it is time to practice. Make sure when you do your substitution, you use parentheses around whatever you are substituting in. Ready, set, go.